Tonight we have an economy super strap from Squire. <laughs> it's like a box inside a box is always a good thing when it's coming all the way from China. It looks like a sort of what we got here. See my sort of. Actually comes like this. Sort of a half box. inside a box. First time I've seen something quite like that. Interesting. Let's take a look. Hmm. Oh my. Oh my goodness. It looks beautiful. Look at that. Floyd Rose. Hairband days are beckoning me back to the old times. Got a good bit of plastic on the stuff here. Check that out, my friends. Roasted maple neck. Beautiful roasted maple neck. Awesome tuners. Gun metal gray, it's called it's sort of like a deep bluish almost in this light in here. Some special kind of squire humbucker pickups. Let me pick the plastic off this and come back to you in a few minutes. So what was kind of unusual here is that there was plastic on this pickup and there's plastic on the pick guard. I've took it off, taken it off, but there was no plastic on this bridge pickup, which is strange. I don't know why. Let's just take a really good close look though at everything here. Looks like I'm getting a little bit of banding with my, uh, with my camera, I don't know why. Standard Floyd Rose locking. Very cool uh, chrome logo as I pan across that. Look at the way it changes. It's like it's, uh, how did they get that on there exactly? Painted headstock, 70, 70 style headstock. That neck is just beautiful. This is quite a beautiful guitar, my friends. As you know, this is going to cause some foolishness to ensue when I get in there and start playing this thing. Just thought I'd get a good quick look at everything. So it's a five-way selector switch. You've not got uh, three. You'd think it would be three. But it actually splits. You know, your two and your four position splits. I'm not exactly sure how it does. So we'll get the, the uh, single coil sounds. I'll, I'll find out in a minute. I'll look at this little... Here's where I take the plastic off. Probably right here it does explain that. I'm sure it probably does. Trying my best here to find out exactly if it, if it tells me the uh, pickup configuration. Neck adjustments, adjustment, factory specs, restringing, bridge. What it's doing is this, it's, it's, this must be for everything, right? For all the different ones in this uh, in this new series which is the Contemporary series. I have a Contemporary Telecaster with two humbuckers, but this is the first time I've got one of these. Let's flip it over and look at the back. So I haven't taken the plastic off this yet. Aggravating to do that sometimes. Not so bad on that one. Either. This is kind of cool. I like having just, a, just that little bit of a cutaway there will make it somewhat more accessible. Not, not like the uh, modern uh, strats but kind of more in that direction check that out designed and backed by fender crafted in china folks uh i don't know about roasted maple necks what the big deal is i never played a guitar with one to me it's never mattered if they're roasted or baked or broiled or chicken fried i mean as long as they play good sound good but apparently it's a big deal now to have a roasted maple neck <laughs> so i'm going to tell you what I think of the old roast here, the dark roast here in a little, little bit. I'll tell you this, it doesn't feel super heavy when I first picked it up. Looks like I have here the, uh, the whammy bar and the adjustment tools and stuff that came with it. Might as well crank this baby up and see what it'll do.
should cut out no more having to I guess you just can tighten it down however it needs to go huh. not in great tune initially but not terribly out either depends on how much play they give me back here on these as to how I'll be able to tune it or if I have to. Oh, it's not tightened down. So yeah, it's not been tightened down up here at all. That's a good thing. So we'll tighten those down as soon as uh, we've got it in some, some semblance of tune. Cool. So friends, in no way is this gonna be a thorough review. This is gonna be first impressions because feeling it's going to take me several weeks to decide what I really think about this guitar. <laughs> I'm playing through a positive grid spark. It's like with any um, uh, Floyd Rose. It took a little bit of getting in tune. gotten on the uh, whammy bar yet to see if it's gonna stay in tune when I jam here when I get down on it hard.
playing the single coil sounds mostly. So let me go back to that bridge for a second. <laughs> position. I like it a lot. That's a nice single coil sound. Middle pickup, which would be both, I guess, both in the humbucking. Excuse me, number two, number two position, but uh, I guess uh, some sort of split again. <laughs> Plexi. Let's see what that sounds like. Bridge pickup. Uh, 
Stuff. I should play a little bit of clean though, shouldn't I? Just, just a little bit of clean just so you can hear what it's going to sound like. So let's go to something that's kind of uh, not so high gainy. Lord, everything I got on here is high gain. What is this? Spooky melody. <laughs> single call uh some sort. I'm not sure if it's both of them split or if it's just this one back here split. Puppy! Enough! Hendrix, go in the house. Disrespectful. <laughs> Here's the bridge. I like it that it's not it's not so super bright. It's kind of a dark. And it took a little bit of adjusting to get the floor where it's floating right, but it's just about right now. First impressions of this is sweet. I'm not kidding. This feels awesome. Absolutely awesome. I'm going to do a little thorough review once I've had a chance to really, really play it and get this dang dog to shut up. And uh, but the roasted maple neck, I got to say, feels fantastic. That just feels splendid to my heart. So smooth and nice. Fret work is splendid. Roll the fret board. That's just nice, my friends. It's a pleasure to play and the fretboard radius, as I say, a love 12 inch radius. 
Floyd Rose, like I said, I've got <laughs> one other Floyd Rose, an old, old one. I might compare the one I have on my old Roadstar. I have one of the Roadstars like what Michael J. Fox played in Back to the Future when, when, when Huey Lewis was, uh, was uh, auditioning him for the band. <laughs> <laughs> A little piece of uh, rock and roll history, that one. <laughs> say folks that is primo primo guitar for under five hundred dollars i say super strap great pickups i gotta say a ceramic uh but sounding great floyd rose better than i would expect it to be for one of the cheaper ones everything's beautiful about it it's beautiful it plays great those frets that fret work just feels superb <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you like. <laughs> 